Simon. Uh, I'm an Android developer. Um, today we are here because we have Hackathon going on, and uh, we are building an app that basically that allows you to uh, upload photos to all these different services. For example, Facebook, Picasa, Flipper, MySpace, Photo Bucket. At the same time, it's uh, more convenient for the user. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get it done by today. My name is Christy English and I came to this hackathon because it's a fun way to develop for Android and also to benefit from experience from other people who have written things for Android. Um, the application that I'm writing is a um, laser pointer mouse for the Android phone. So the idea is, um, let's pretend that this is the projector screen. So the idea is that you would have a laser pointer, and then when you're projecting from a projector, you want to be able to use the laser pointer on the screen um, to highlight certain items. And where Android comes in is you have your cell phone, and the cell phone would also be pointing at the projector screen. And it would be able to pick up the mouse dot from the laser pointer and translate that to mouse coordinates. So when you move the, the laser pointer, um, it should correspondingly move the cursor on the computer that is being used to display the, the presentation. Cool. So the idea is that when you have a presentation being displayed, you want to be able to circle items with the laser pointer and have it show up um, being projected on the display screen. So it's a cool way of doing a presentation and to use the Android phone to do it. Hi, uh, my name is Sharon. Uh, I'm working at uh, Cisco and I'm here for the Android Hackathon to learn and also to develop an app. Uh, basically, we are uh, trying, all three of us trying to uh, develop an app which is uh, click uh, or call anywhere. Uh, so the idea is uh, using your mobile phone, you can make a call to any country uh, free of charge using your uh, whatever existing VoIP account. So that's an idea. Cool. So my name is uh, Satish and I'm uh, here working with uh, uh, Sharon and uh, Dharmesh here on this uh, uh, application. Uh, so basically the way we are planning to implement this is uh, uh, it's going to have uh, uh, a front-end uh, client running on the Android platform and there will be a little bit of back-end functionality on the web service and there will be HTTP communication between the client and the uh, the backend service uh, to accomplish uh, the functionality that uh, Sharon described. Cool. Hi, um, my name is Dharmesh and uh, we are building this app which makes it very easy for users of existing uh, One Edge account to basically port their One Edge uh, capability on their mobile phones and with simple one touch uh, capability they can call anywhere in the world uh, free of charge and basically carry their One Edge in their pocket. So I think it's going to be very useful for everyone to use and download and cool. uh, you know, uh, continue making more free phone calls and talk anywhere they want. My name is Matthew Johnson and I've come to the Android Hackathon in order to learn more and more about this fascinating framework called Android and to put together what I hope will be a, a good example of how to use the OpenGL ES three-dimensional graphics 3D checkers. Cool. This application should be simple enough to finish on within this weekend, and yet at the same time, it'll allow us to illustrate some of the important ins and outs of the OpenGL package, such as rotating a view, providing transparencies, providing projections, all the good 3D stuff that most people don't yet know how to do. Hi, uh, my name is Jan Zan. I'm the founder of Ziku uh, Services. Um, actually, I'm building an application for uh, note taking and note distribution, uh, the notes including the camera uh, and the voice memo. And uh, the application will be called uh, Ziku Notes. Hi, I'm Daniel Kastner. I'm pretty new to Android, so I'm starting with a simple project to answer a question that's been bugging me for a long time. It's going to be like a pedometer, except instead of counting how many steps you've taken, it uses the compass in the phone to determine how many times during the day you've turned to the left or turned to the right. Okay, name is Craig Cook. I'm interested in creating a client for Freebase, which is a semantically marked up encyclopedia source. So it'll go to the web to make queries and it'll refine queries. The idea is that users won't necessarily know the formal tags that are there, so it'll think you discover what tags are needed to make the query. 
and return the, the uh, information that is contained on the Freebase site. Okay, we are, uh, my name is Pramod Ristagi, Roberto, and Robert Stone. And we're working on a um, handwriting learning application, uh, which will essentially allow kids to learn how to stroke characters. Uh, what, I, what I understand is that early uh, kids in kindergarten and so forth, they write characters in very different ways. They don't understand which part of the character or letter to uh, draw first. And we want to uh, write an application for the iPhone and uh, Android mm -hmm. to uh, essentially have an application that teaches kids the sequence of the character strokes. Uh, once we get that done, we want to be able to do uh, touch using uh, the kid's finger to draw on the screen to understand whether he's drawing that in the proper way. Cool. And, uh, from there, we'll take it to uh, eye candy and all sorts of things to keep the kids engaged. Hello, my name is Francisco and I'm working on uh, a small project that is trying to leverage the speech to text and the speech recognition app. Just to have like a, like, like a kind of assistant that you can pretty much talk to and uh, get information from. So. so we are working on a clipboard history application. It copies and pastes and keeps track of your clipboard history. My name is Matt. My name is Kenneth. I've been uh, working in mobile application, not Android, yeah, uh, Apple, so today's a good chance to learn. And this module is perfect. It's not small and it has utilized some of the module and I just sit here and learn a lot. Cool. Uh, my name is Tess. Um, I just started to do something with Android, like it, see that there's a, a huge potential for with, uh, with this uh, application. Hi, my name is Sarah Sam, and I'm with Technology Credit Union. We are a full service financial institution, and we've been serving and supporting the technology community, the employees and their families for the past 50 years. We are proud supporters of the mobile development community and excited to be here today supporting the Google Hackathon here at the Hacker Dojo. Um, we understand the financial and support services needed by mobile developers throughout this community. And if you are looking for support, please check us out at www.techc.com. Thank you. My name is Georgie Dagnall. I host the informal Android developer meetup and uh, working with a team of people including Sasha, sorry, Sasha, who runs the San Francisco Android Meetup, and David Sao, who uh, works the, uh, sorry, hosts the uh, Silicon Valley Android Meetup. Uh, we have put together this uh, Android Hackathon, our very first Android Hackathon, the first one in the San uh, Silicon Valley area. Uh, we hope to have many, many more in the future, uh, maybe in the next six months to a year, but uh, let me give you a little idea of what a hackathon is. Basically, uh, it is a very informal meeting between developers. We come together on a some weekend and we spontaneously form teams or, or uh, individuals uh, who will put together a Android application uh, starting today and continue for the next few days. Uh, in this case, what we're doing is we're doing the event for a full day on Saturday. We are going to allow people who would like to take part in a competition with their application to sign up to present their application on Wednesday at David's uh, Silicon Valley Android Developer Meeting. And then uh, the people will get up and show off their application. We are going to have the audience members vote on which one they consider the best applications in different uh, different. Uh, Types of, of types of applications and awards we're going to have. Uh, the audience will make the decisions, and then we'll announce later in the evening. And we are so thankful that we're able to bring this together. Now, it would sound like with a hackathon with all these developers, we'd only be looking for people that are very advanced in Android. That's not the case at all. We've got a lot of beginners here, and the idea is to form teams so that people have different strengths that they can bring into it. For example, if, if somebody is really good in Android, they can work on that. If someone's really good at graphics, they can work on that portion of it. So the idea is not to exclude anybody. There's always room on a team for a person who's really interested in the project. And 
we are looking forward to doing this the next time around. This is our, our first time. It's been a really wonderful experience for us all, but the next one will be even better, so just wait. We have some great prizes this time around. For our grand prize winner, we have some Google Nexus phones that have been donated by Google. Google has been a really big sponsor for us. In fact, we're right now we're doing lunch for everyone, and that uh, lunch has been provided thanks to Google's generosity. We're also going, we had uh, breakfast this morning uh, that was done as part of uh, the generosity from Access Growth, which is another one of our big sponsors. Uh, another sponsor that we have is AdMob, and they have uh, donated some uh, funds so that we can buy great prizes for our, our winners. Uh, we also have another donation coming in from GetJar, which is, as you guys know, very big in the uh, uh, application, mobile application distribution platform. They've got a really great platform, and they are going to be donating as well. And we are very thankful for all of their interest in it. And, but then, you know, Android is growing so rapidly. There's so much going on that there are a lot of people interested in it. Uh, so, uh, oh, one last thing I can't forget. Uh, one other great sponsor we have is from Tech Credit Union. And uh, Sarah was here, and actually, Tech Credit Union, she was actually helping, so she was helping really organize the event from start to finish. In addition to uh, Sasha, who is uh, his uh, Maracana company, is going to be donating some great training. Uh, I'm really kind of jealous, I'm going to take part, but they're going to be doing a week long Android boot camp. So it's really great for people who just are starting Android, but also who have been doing it for a while so you can really get in depth and understand the package and, and how it performs and how to improve their code quite a bit. So that's like a, a like $2,700 prize you're giving away. We've got two different uh, uh, week on boot camp students uh, that we can uh, give away and it's really going to be quite a great competition this year. But like I said, next year will be, uh, next time will be even better. So we'll cool. keep our things going.